Hey guys, it's Jenny Silver, and today I'm going to answer your most frequent questions that you're having today and yesterday about the Lost Wages Assistance Program, that $300 boost for the state of California. And before I go any further, please click like, subscribe, and leave me a quick comment down below. It really helps boost my channel, and I truly appreciate it. Okay, guys, so the Lost Wages Assistance Program. Anytime I skip over... Um, the summary of what the program is and who qualifies, you guys get very confused. So I'm going to go ahead and give a quick summary. If you want to skip this summary because you've heard me say it a million times, just click the timestamp menu down below in the video description. So the Lost Wages Assistance Program is a $300 or $400 unemployment boost that was issued in an executive memorandum by Donald Trump. Issuing guidance that the states were to receive a $300 federal boost. Now, that $300 federal boost could also be supplemented to a $400 boost if states decided to opt in and pay in an additional $100 from their coronavirus relief fund. Now, many states have opted not to do this because they do not have any money able to reallocate from that fund. However, some states have opted for the $400. Now, California specifically is offering a $300 boost in order to qualify for that $300 boost to unemployment, you must meet the requirements that were set forth in the executive memorandum by Donald Trump. In order to qualify for the $300 boost to unemployment, you must, number one, be unemployed due to the pandemic. Unemployed or partially unemployed, due to the pandemic. Number two, you must be in one of the qualifying programs that Donald Trump listed in his executive memorandum. This unfortunately does not include disaster assistance. And number three, you must have a weekly state benefit award amount of $100 or higher. Not 97, not 98, but $100 or higher. This is retroactive and applied to weeks ending August 1st, August 8th. August 15th, first. Those first three weeks are the first initial payouts that the EDD is issuing. First chunk of $900 comes first. After that, we will have an additional three weeks paid out. Now, six weeks in total, but it's a little bit confusing. And here's where people are getting confused about if it is five weeks or six weeks. California has obtained a total of five weeks meaning that FEMA has paid out a grant to California and California has stated publicly that they have received five weeks worth of payments for all claimants. Now, FEMA has also issued press releases and statements that all states that qualify, that meet the eligibility requirements for their claimants will receive six weeks in total. So California has applied for that six weeks FEMA has stated publicly that all states, if they meet the requirements in the deadline, will receive a six weeks. So we're waiting on receiving funding for that six weeks. So expect six weeks in total, but if you're looking at the EDD language on their website, it's gonna say five weeks. That's because they don't wanna promise money that they don't have in their hands yet. Now, the EDD has been issuing out payments for these $300 in the form of two different phases. Phase number one is for claimants who included a pandemic-related reason on their application. Not a write-in answer, but they actually selected it on their application, seems to be the case. Now, if you are in phase one, the EDD has already begun rolling out those payments, but they have not finished yet. Phase one, begun receiving their payments. Um, the EDD stated they would begin September 7th, but they actually began dispersing them September 5th but they have not completed the process. Now the EDD's most recent press release that contains information on the Lost Wages Assistance Program states that they anticipate completing the process of phase one payments by early next week. So by about Wednesday, you should have received this, but the EDD is inconsistent. So I would not be surprised if it is further delayed. Now, the way that are paying this out is very confusing. Um, I have a more detailed video that shows all of this on screen. I'm going to link to it right now as well as in the video description down below. But in general, if you're in phase one, 
If you just applied and you were just approved and you certified for all of those effective weeks altogether, you are going to receive $900 up front. That doesn't apply to most people. Most people are certifying bi-weekly, certify for two weeks. If you're in that camp, you are either going to receive a $300 payment and then a $600 payment or a $600 and then a $300. In phase two, that means that you did not include a pandemic related reason on your application. This includes if the application had not yet been updated to list COVID-19 as a reason, then you'd be in phase two. Phase two claimants are required to submit a one-time certification stating that yes, they are in fact unemployed due to the pandemic. And this certification is available in your UI online homepage or in the mail, or you'll be notified by a text. Now, if you don't see the certification in your UI online homepage, Click in your inbox, it might be sitting and waiting for you in there, as many have reported. You to click yes, that you are unemployed due to the pandemic, otherwise you will not receive the boost. Now, the EDD has not stated an end date for rolling out all of phase two. However, many have reported today that they have begun to see those payments initiate. So, will you receive more? You will receive first, an initial three weeks worth of $300 payments for claim weeks ending August 1st, August 8th, August 15th. Three weeks times $300. Now, if you have not received all of your payments yet, still wait a few more days. The EDD is still finishing the process. If you feel like you need to call in and check on things, um, you maybe you haven't received your certification yet, then use my how to call video to get through a little faster. Well, if you have received all three of those payments and you have received $900, the next thing you need to do is wait. You will be receiving more payments. However, if you remember what I stated earlier, FEMA has issued California five weeks, but has stated that they are issuing all states six weeks. So California has in its possession five weeks. They number one, need to finish out paying those additional claimants from phase one and phase two. Once all of phase two is complete, then they will begin paying out the additional two weeks that they have in their possession. They also are waiting on one more week from FEMA to be dispersed to the state of California. So in terms of remaining payments, um, based on FEMA's statement to, in press releases, you should anticipate six weeks. Um, however, it might be two weeks and then one week because they're waiting on that one week to be dispersed from FEMA. So is there a date on when you will receive more payments after that initial $900? No, the EDD stated in their most recent press release that they do not have a date and that more information is to be determined. So what should you do if you feel like you are missing something? Well, if you feel like you're missing your self-certification, call in and check with the EDD. If you feel like you are missing a payment, I would give it a few more days. I would wait until Wednesday of this next week before calling in if you're able to do so um, because the EDD has stated that they won't finish phase one until early next week. And if you're a phase two, it will most likely take a little longer. For if you do wanna call in and talk to the EDD, use my how to call video, which goes over the best time to call, the number to get through, um, and a few tips to hopefully help you get through a little faster. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful. Please click like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below.